little uh, jazz. I'm sure you've done plenty of kids clinics over the journey, but with uh, 29 kids in a small kid like uh, small school like this, must be a little bit more of a warmer treat, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Over the years, have done a few, but it's um, it's been good to get back into it and get out in the community a bit more now. Um, sort of that we're past COVID, you know. Um, there was a few years there where we just couldn't do it, but yeah, it's great to get out and it sort of reminds me a lot of Dartmoor Primary where, you know, I went back in the day. Um, there's only sort of 15 to 20 kids there at the moment or thereabouts and um, it's always good to get back. So, um, yeah, lots of good memories. Yeah, Jezza, and you're training at the Reed tonight. Um, what does it mean to sort of get out to the rural communities and, and sort of get some locals there to, to watch us get around? Yeah, absolutely love it. You know, it's not too far from home and I've got some family coming across as well. It'd be great to uh, catch up with them and, and um, you know, I'm sure the community is going to embrace it and, and come out and watch us. So, yeah, I love the fact that we get to train here and I'm looking forward to it tonight. A little bit extra special to get out to the communities with a premiership medal next to your name and, and have something to show off and tell the kids about? Yeah, I, di I didn't bring it, but, um, yeah, it's uh, it's been an exciting sort of year, you know, especially last year. and. Um, the result and just the year, it was so much fun, you know, so it's been great to, over the off season, especially get around Geelong and, you know, the surrounding areas, everyone's still um, up and about with the victory, which is which is lovely and, um, yeah, the kids absolutely love it. So I know Warnable down here is a big supporter of, you know, the Cattery and um, a lot of supporters come from down this way. So it's going to be pretty exciting tonight um, getting around everyone, um, I'm sure before and after training. Do you feel like you've been stopped a bit more on the street and people come up to you a bit more in the last sort of six months since the, since the flag? Um, oh, everyone's everyone's pretty up and about. I w yeah, I sort of, I don't normally go into town too much and um, I do stray in and grab a coffee here and there, but um, yeah, it's it's been really positive. I, I think, yeah, one of the big things I've noticed about Geelong is how, how much the, the community embraces the football club. Um, down in Geelong and um, yeah, even before the flag, everyone was really excited and um, excited by um, you know what we had in front of us and the possibility possibility of winning a flag and then to go on and have a really good season and, and get that done has been awesome. So everyone's uh, everyone's up and about. It hasn't you know it still doesn't sink in at times um, with me, but um, yeah, it's pretty. Pretty scary to think the season's only a month and a half away or whatever it is. It's come around really quickly with, um, you know, obviously the deeper you go in finals, the quicker it's going to um, come around. But I'm excited by the new year as well. How are you feeling about the new year? Obviously, with added pressure now, trying to go back to back, which is a really hard feat. Um, how is the group sort of embracing that? Yeah, it's been been really positive. Um, it's been, been awesome to get back into training. Um, it was nice to... Don't get me wrong, it was nice to have a few months off and, and really rest up and, um, you know, take it all in and uh, get back and see the families. But at the same time, it's been really good to get back to training, get back in the um, routine and the schedule of, um, you know, pre-season and getting the body back to where it needs to be for round one. So it's been really positive. The guys have come back um, really well and, and we've all had a great break and, um, yeah, we're looking forward to building up with a bit of match play from, from here on in and, and, and really building to, to round one, which is, you know, it's going to be a big start to the year. After soft season, you had to do so much work with the hammies to get them right, and it's certainly worth a treat. So do you, is there a similar work this pre-season, or is it more just maintenance and making sure the body's good to go? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I've got a fairly good gauge on, on what I need to, where I need to be, and even with the few months off, um, you know, there was times where you got to, do the right thing and, and make sure you're ticking, you know, all the boxes. So when you do get back um, and get back into pre-season, you're you're not not humming. I wouldn't say you need to be going, you know, at 100%, but uh, making sure that you're in a good spot to build over the pre-season. And um, I've been able to do that. You know, I was pretty sore come the end of the year, uh, which after a big long season, and then um, you know, big finals campaign, you, you're more than likely going to be a bit banged up, but. Um, yeah, with a bit of rest and then the right things in place, um, you're, you're ready to go again and uh, the body's feeling great at the moment, so hopefully it stays that way. What does a pre-season look like after winning the flag? Is it um, a bit different or once the celebrations sort of come to an end, it's sort of back to business? Yeah, it's definitely back to business. Um, yeah, it's, I guess, there's a, there's a balance there that you've got to sort of nail and 
you can be, um, yeah, you you got to enjoy it. That's the the first first and foremost. Uh, you build, you know, over ten years, eleven years it was for me to to you want to win it every year, but um, it took you know eleven seasons or thereabouts to to win it. So you got to enjoy it um, when when that does happen, and and we definitely did. But then um, it comes a time when you know you're sort of on to next year, and it happens really quickly, which I've sort of mentioned here today, and. Um, yeah, you find that balance and, and you're straight back into it and you know it sort of feels like it didn't really happen it's 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 like we're back into you know you start at square one again and um, every team's after you know that ultimate success um, so everyone's sort of back on a yeah level playing field so um, yeah I'd, I'd just say get, getting that balance right is probably key and, and I think we've done really well. How does John get better? I remember Max Gorn this time last year off the back of their flag talking about the areas they've pinpointed they need to get better because the competition will get better around you. Are you pinpointed an area or two that the Cats have identified to, to get better this year? Oh, I think there'll be just little tweaks along the way, you know. Um, we won't change anything too, like, extreme. We won't make massive changes, but um, there's definitely ways that we can get better and um, little things that, you know, the personnel might be different. Um, yeah, there's, there's so many different things that you can look at, um, but... You know, it's about just tweaking things and, and the rest of the competition probably has an eye on what we did last year and, and they might be tweaking their game. Well, I know they will be. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult um, but um, exciting at the same time. I think it's very hard to, you know, just do the same thing every year and, and expect to get the same results um, each and every time because every team does evolve and, and does get better and different personnel come in and out and... Um, yeah, it's exciting. You know, it's we're, we're sort of getting into that period where the match play is starting to um, become, you know, the, the the sole focus of training. And and when that comes around, then you can sort of start to explore different things. So um, yeah, it's it's exciting. And then yeah, give or take, sort of a month, we're going to be into practice matches, which is you know against other teams is when you can really sort of try try different things. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Speaking of different stuff, I guess you and Tom last year obviously had such a dynamic connection in the forward line and he might be missing early on, potentially with the split. Um, is there anyone you can see coming through that forward line that Cats fans can maybe watch out for this year? Oh yeah, there's definitely a num number of young um, guys coming through and um, I think, you know, big scratches. He's been he's been training out forward a lot. He's been going really well. Um, Holly Henry's been going really well and just showing off, you know, his um, his skills at training, which is which has um, been really good to see. Yeah, um, there's there's a lot of guys sort of rolling through there, and um, yeah, you know, Tommy's training really hard behind the scenes and, and going really well and and, and running and, and that sort of thing. So we'll have to just wait and see when he comes in. But um, yeah, he's he's going to be, you know, he'll make sure the time's right when he does. So uh, whether that's round one or or a little bit deeper into the season, we'll have to wait and see. But there's a lot of guys putting their hand up at the moment um, and coming down forward to, to see how that sort of works and if we can get it going. So, um, yeah, we'll sort of just have to wait and see. But all the young guys are pretty positive and, and standing tall and, and having a uh, having a real crack so far. When uh, do you expect to vote on captain? And I know you'll be remiss to um, give us you know, your preference, but who... What type of leader do you need in replacing Joel Selwood? I mean, no one's going to be able to step into his shoes, are they? Well, I think um, I think there's a number of guys that can definitely step into his shoes and, and fill that role. Um, yeah, so you know those discussions will will be happening now and and you know right up probably to the lead lead up to the season. So um, I guess one of the great things about the Cats is there's a lot of experience and a lot of um, experienced players um, that can can step up and um, and have been you know leaders for a long period of time at the club so um, yeah I'm sure that'll come out I'm not sure when but um, you know in the in the next month or so I guess um, or even you know at the start of the season so um, yeah that's taking place now but yeah we'll have to wait and see um yeah I've given it a good spell we got the little one on the way actually so um, that's another thing that's really starting to heat up. Um, the baby's due probably either round one, two or three. So, um, yeah, not much time for me. I've been trying to do things outside at the moment and most of my spare time's been 
helping India, making sure she's comfortable, but at the same time, um, yeah, getting myself ready for the season. So hands are full at the moment, but a very exciting time. Do you sort of expect that there could be a game there that you miss if we get the last minute call to get to the emergency room? Yeah, it's definitely a big possibility. You know, um, I've always been really clear that that'll come first, and I guess it's lucky that it's not. Um, in finals, so it's not you know really well talked about. But um, if that was the case, then um, yeah, I'll be staying with her for sure. You've got a few teammates to pick from, but anyone you go to advice for? There's a few fathers in the group. Anyone that's uh, up? <laughs> there's a fair few, yeah. That most of them have about three. So um, the advice is um, sort of it's not too well. You you still see some of the boys coming very tired. Last year, I saw Isaac um, pretty much sleeping at certain times just before a few few pretty big games as well and um, you could tell they've had a bit of a late night but um, from what I've heard ha having one hopefully hopefully the baby's a really good sleeper and um, having one's okay but when when you've got three or four the hands are really full and the golf sort of goes out the window so you've probably seen I've been playing a fair bit of golf um, in the last couple of months which has been good but um, I'm probably gonna have to pull back a little bit. Cat did it so well last year, resting guys at, at the right time, and with the extra game now, do you see more of that this year, um, sort of putting blokes away for a game or two here and there? Oh, I'm sure that's going to be a thing going forward. Yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm personally, I like to think I'm still 22, so I want to play every game I can. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that'll be that'll happen again. I thought it was done really well last year, and there's 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 guys that want to play every game, but I'm sure, um, yeah, if if there's a few little niggles. You know, then it's probably a good opportunity to have a rest. But I don't really make those decisions at all. I'm just um, I get in and train and go home and rock up on weekends. That's sort of my go. I don't really sit in too many meetings to see if guys want to um, have the weekend off. And just one more on Ollie Henry. You've played with some exciting forwards over your career. What, what sort of stands out from his game that um, you know excites you watching him at training? Um, yeah, a, a lot of things. Yeah, it's been really impressive. Um, He's, he's been really impressive in, in you know, our match sim and, and also just training, just his ability to sort of play play small. He's that medium sort of type, but he can play tall and grabs the ball at the highest point. Um, he protects it really well and, and, and in the air, like he seems to just float. He's one of those guys that, um, you know, can obviously take a good mark and a hanger, but he, he just seems to float, float in the air for longer than anyone else. And... Um, it's been really impressive to see um, his development and I'm sure he's only going to get better. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thank you.